So we'll work on the landscape sculpting tools and different materials uh, uh, over here. So this will be the today's session which will be covering it. If you are not able to cover, we'll continue tomorrow with this other uh, things. So we'll just see what we can uh, finish today uh, within one hour. And then I'll just go for the materials and all. If it is if it is not able to finish today, we'll continue the same session tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, we'll just start with this. Uh, and yeah, so this is like a default uh, new scene and we want to start creating some kind of uh, terrain so if you want to create some kind of mountains and terrain over here so you need to go to this select pole and here you have landscape okay. uh, so once you create this landscape there are different options uh, over here if I just go to the first option over here first option is manage and using this uh, we can also create uh, different uh, options over here we can just see that you can create a and new landscape uh, over here so something we can uh, so this is the option where we can create the landscape so the so first option is create new so if i just click on this new option over here we can just see that one landscape uh, is been created uh, so this is just a preview of the landscape it has not done any kind of uh, creation of that and if you want to assign some material uh, also uh, you can just see that the material option is also over here so if you want to see this this material also so if I just add it you can add this material option uh, and here we have this scale uh, the location and rotation of all this uh, option over here so as soon as if I just click on this uh, create so it will create some kind of landscape for me and uh, I go to this uh, option over here and it is also preparing some kind of shaders uh, as I choose that material over here. Uh, now here you have different options. So the creation of that is done. So first part is to create that uh, over here. So if you want to create something new, you can also create it. Uh, once you create, it goes to this sculpting mode. So inside this sculpt mode, you can uh, sculpt this landscape. So if I just start clicking it over here, uh, it starts sculpting that over here. So first tool is sculpt. So you can increase the size of brush by uh, using this open square bracket and a close square bracket. So or here also an option for the brush size. So how I want to use this. So you can adjust the brush size over here. And we also have this fall off. So how soft or how hard you want this brush to be. So that can be adjusted using this follow. Suppose if I now I create this, you will get this kind of sharp uh, edges over here. Uh, we can just see that. So this is very sharp. As I keep creating it over here, you can just see that it keeps adding very sharp. So if you want to blend between any of this, uh, we have this. Inside this brush size, we need to adjust this fall off. So if I adjust this fall off, it is becoming much smoother. Now I can just see that we get nice and smooth uh, kind of uh, mountains. If you want to add it, we can just add it over here. So using this uh, tool, uh, so first tool is the sculpt tool. Using this, you can pull the mountain out. And here we have different brush types. Uh, it depends on the mask. Uh, we can just use it. So here we have this different brush types. So by default, it is a simple circular brush. If you want some alpha brush over here, I can also use some kind of alpha brush. Uh, you can just see that. And here I can choose that texture over here. So we can just see that there are different textures. So depending on uh, what kind of texture we are using. Suppose if I'm just using this kind of black and white texture. Uh, now we can just see that it it is having this alpha. Now if you just start creating that, uh, depending on the texture, it is going to create this kind of uh, structure over here. Okay, so uh, how the texture is. So this is like a cobblestone and we have this kind of thing. And this is the strength of that tool. So uh, how you want it. So if you want very light, so I can adjust the strength of this tool. So you can just see this is what it is happening right now. Over here. So depending on the map it will take. So if you click it over here again and if you have some kind of different map uh, which you want to load it over here and try and test uh, how it will look you can also uh, see that. Suppose if it is having this uh, kind of textures uh, you can find it out uh, any kind of texture suppose this one I choose and if I just click on that you get. 
okay so the strength of this is less if i increase the strength of this you can just see it will be having more okay so uh, we can use this kind of textures uh, over here so i'll just press ctrl z now so i just want to undo it and here we can just see that we are a different uh, brushes also so if you have something called pattern brush we also have so this is using the alpha brushes which you can use it and here we can also see this pattern brush so if i just go to the pattern brush here we have the scale of it so you can reduce the scale or increase the scale of this so when you start adding that okay uh, so the scale of the brush we can use it and you need to choose some kind of pattern also so let's reset this now this one and we also have this uh, over uh, work on the entire landscape so we'll just use this first tool and we'll just start creating it uh, over here using this first tool and we'll see what all the dis different types of brushes which we have uh, and how it will work inside this particular scene so first brush is sculpt so let's use this and you want to uh, just go over here then start adding if i just started uh, using this over here so however you want to paint it you can just start sculpting it over here so that is which will pull that uh, up over here so i just want to pull it in some other places also so just start added adjusting that thing over here. okay so as i'm clicking it over here it starts adding different types of uh, mountain kind of uh, structure for us so you can just keep on adding and here now next the tool is like a smooth tool so if i just click on this and you want to uh, smoothen that tool over here so we can just smooth that out okay so if i just smooth it okay so this, this texture is there it is giving me that output so if i just go for any other texture let's go for black now we don't have any of the texture over here so it won't do anything in this case if it is totally white texture now you will see this so depending on this texture uh, we can also uh, smooth that region out over here uh, inside this okay so texture rotation anything you want to adjust you can adjust it in this place so default so here uh, also we can just see that there are different properties if you want to adjust the size of the textures over here and you want to check it much bigger size we can also uh, adjust that over here so this is what the texture uh, will do inside this case so if i just click on this it will reset everything over here so uh, if i just click on any of this right so we can just start sharing and we also have this different channels uh, if you want to do the texturing or uh, using the alpha channel you can also choose different channels over here suppose if you have something like this uh, some map let's take it so if you have something which is having the alpha channel inside it you can choose that so for this now we have this kind of alpha channel and we can just see that we can uh, sculpt using that uh, alpha channel over here so uh, you don't want this right now so i'll just choose something like the dust particles also if you just want to use it you can just do it so this tool will smooth that out so uh, whatever the mountain we have done and if you want to adjust that down so once i click on this i'm just trying to smooth that out so if you want totally let's go for the red channel i want to choose it something over here i can choose normal uh, color i don't want that so just flat now you can just see that how it is making that mountain uh, smooth and we are adjusting that so once i click on that it smooths that out okay so depending on this uh, uh, we'll get that so uh, what we'll do is now we'll just use different types of the strength is less so if i increase the strength uh, it will work little more hard on this so let's see this so here i want to make it down i don't want that top sharpness so i'll just adjust this over here just want to smooth this out so i'm just adding that smoothness uh, inside the scene and just trying to build that over 
okay so uh, now next we'll go for flatten tool so this tool will actually flatten the surface suppose if i just start uh, in reduce the size of brush and if i just want to make this uh, region flat like this uh, so as the name itself tell it will flatten that particular surface if it is too sharp and you want to flatten it over here so we can just use this brush so what i'll do is i'll just reduce the strength of this little bit and then you start adding that flatness uh, over here so in this region if you feel that flatness is required reduce the size of brush and then you start adding that flatness so whichever the place we want it again so total strength sorry suppose here so we can just see that how it is creating that uh, kind of surface over there sometimes this is okay so different tool uh, which you can use it uh, so here is also one more tool called thermal uh, erosion so first if I just want to increase this uh, size now tool strength is more so you can see little bit of detail uh, using different brushes uh, tool strength is little less so if I just increase more of this tool strength and then you start adding it over here so you can just see that how it will make this uh, region totally flat uh, and very sharp over here inside this mountains so when I sculpt that it was too smooth so if you just want to give that kind of uh, this kind of lines over here like this is what this thermal erosion will do so uh, if I just click it over here let's see this so it will give that sharp uh, uh, lines for the mountains so if I just start adding that over here inside this place let's add it in this uh, particular place so I can reduce the size of this also and try see it over here just try uh, fixing that now I can just see it here okay so again we can go for the sculpt tool uh, increase the size of the brush and I just want to raise some more mountains and then go for this erosion and then you reduce the size of this little now I'm seeing that what is happening for this okay so here we can set different properties of that also so let's uh, instead of making totally smooth uh, mountain over here so if I'm just using this okay so there are different properties of this also so if you want to add more noise over here you can uh, raise that so I'll just raise this more of this noise inside this so while doing that you can just see it over here here also you just want to add this more okay so noise mode is red the scale of this I can also adjust the scale uh, of this noise over here and these are the different properties of that particular uh, tool over here which you can add it over here so uh, and there is something called hydro uh, so this will uh, cause some kind of erosion what happens uh, due to the rainfall so on the mountains if you see that so if I just use this brushes also so it will give that kind of lines which will happen so these are the different tools uh, which you can use it so if you want to use some kind of noise uh, in this and you want to play around with that also so noise scale so now it is giving a different result uh, so if I just reduce the size of brush and then you start adding that so So how we want this uh, whole region to be uh, over here so sometimes if you feel that this is not nice uh, you want to erase that you also have this smooth option with this smooth option you can start uh, erasing 
certain part so increase the size of this brush again and then you start so this I don't like so I'll just start uh, adjusting removing that over here now use this erosion again uh, reduce the size of this and let's give this nice sharpness for that so here it looks too smooth just adding it over here okay so this is one way of creating uh, any of this uh, maps if you have so if I just want to add another uh, tool over here so this is one uh, landscape I have suppose if I want to add another landscape uh, this time I'll just go to manage again this time uh, we also have an uh, import option over here so using this what we can do is you can also import uh, some kind of height map over here and we can also add to that uh, we also have this spline option so we can also add some kind of spline uh, to control the mountain over here so this is the different option so first you'll see the import how we can use this uh, import option over here so if I click on this import I have this height map uh, so I need to load some kind of map over here uh, which you can uh, get it so click on this import now I go to the desktop and I have some kind of height maps which are like black and white map uh, which we have it so here so if I just check that yeah so these are the kind of height maps we have so if you want to import that open it and we have this height map over here so uh, sometimes if I just go for this so it will ask for PNG uh, most of the time it will ask for PNG or raw files for that so if you want to search for some kind of height maps uh, you can also search uh, online so let's go and search for uh, height maps so so terrain so if i search for that terrain height maps uh, you, you will get this kind of height maps over here so uh, any of this uh, will work so if i just want to see uh, any of this height maps over here so go search for mountain so you will find lots of this over here. Uh, this is the kind of map which will help uh, so if I just want to go for this so here we have some of this larger images mountain displacement map also you can call it or mountain height maps also is there so we can just see that so this kind of maps will be there which is like black and white map and using that we can uh, see that so here i think we can find this over here okay so this is one uh, place and here also so let's go for this free mountain displacement map which we have it so uh, we can get the pack of that also we don't want this 3d model yeah, so these are all the mountains which are created using this uh, particular certain kind of maps uh, over here so we don't want that we want certain maps so which will be like black and white so let's search for this one this is good view let's save as so this is what we have this png dot png i'll save it and let's import that the same map over here so go for this and we have this height map now you can just see that it has uh, created that uh, so once I click on this import right so uh, what is the resolution it is asking and we have this option uh, we can just click on this import okay. and then go for this okay so uh, we can also create uh, that over here as well so once you have that map uh, we can also click on this uh, fill the world and then create so it takes time okay 
okay so it is taking some uh, time to load that uh, particular map over here so once it is done you'll just see that uh, because it is a huge map and it will take some time because it is 8k or 4k map right so we need it takes some kind of time for loading it over here we just need to wait and check that one Okay, so it has loaded that particular um, landscape over here. So what I'll do is I'll just start, uh, I think it is uh, loading it over here too much. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll start with new level and I'll just show that so I don't want to save anything. Go for this landscape. And yeah. Okay, so go for manage and this time we have a uh, different uh, thing over here. So we can just see it in this particular place. Uh, so that is one more thing. You can import the file and uh, create a new uh, landscape over here. So if I just want to create something new or you want to import from the same file, uh, now we can just see that it is already done that. Inside that and it is too big. So let's zoom out and it is showing me this rough geometry right now. So once I load that, you'll be able to see that. So I just want to zoom out and it is showing me some kind of geometry for this and it is showing the height, uh, how much height uh, this mountain will be. So I'll just scroll it and I'll just want to show this is what we have map. And depending on the map, the scale of the map is al almost 100 over here. So this is what we have and I'm just using that uh, map for me. That's it. So I just make it. I don't want any kind of texture on the top of it. And here we have this uh, material which we have loaded. So once I click on this, uh, you fit the data to this. Now I have fit. So whatever the texture size is there, depending on that, uh, it is going to take this uh, data. And once you click on this import, it will start importing that later let's take yeah so yeah it got now so so whatever that map was there depending on that map uh, I got this uh, structure over here for this landscape so we can just see this is what we have and it is taking according to that map or uh, whatever the map I had lo loaded black and white map and you have this nice uh, picture so when so that is one simple thing so if you have some kind of data of uh, uh, real mountains and all like this kind of displacement or height map you can always uh, load that quickly into the scene and we can just see that there's a uh, lot of things inside it over here so I can select that and there are a lo lot of proxy elements also which is uh, came over here so if I just uh, come back to any of this other uh, thing like sculpting uh, over here uh, so we can also use any other tool or we can just directly create another landscape again you want to have some uh, another image over here which you want to load it you can also load it over here so again I'll just go for new so this time I don't want this texture I'll just remove that texture so this is another landscape which we are creating uh, over here and uh, this is just a simple landscape so here we have this option click on this create new and it will create another uh, landscape for me and here we don't have any of the data uh, for this particular thing so if you want to paint or you want to use some kind of uh, spline over here and you want to add some kind of components to the landscape uh, we can also add certain components also to this so you want to use some kind of spline tool to add to this also so we can also add it uh, let's go first go for the sculpting now and let's sculpt it so this is different so two landscape which we have so another landscape which I have it I'm just using this now to uh, paint so there are two landscape which we are, are having so one with this texture and another is like another landscape which we have it so this we can paint it uh, with our this kind of tools 
so just start using that all it will become more heavy uh, as we start adding more of this things going on so i don't want to increase anything over here so let's create this so we have this uh, so whatever this a uh, scale of that was there uh, we can just see it over here so depending on the scale how we can just see that map over here so this need to import and now you can just see this is what it has taken from that map which i have added so let's zoom out so depending on the scale also of that so uh, if you you are not adjusting the scale of that so it might look like this so this is what we have this particular map which i have loaded so this in Okay, so depending on the map, what I have loaded. So if I just press Control Z now, over here. So when you are importing anything over here and uh, you want to adjust the height, so here we have this Z scale. So if I just make it around 10 for this, and uh, then you have this option uh, over here, then you can just import. Let's see. So now we can just see that. So uh, depending on the maps and uh, the amount of the scale over here, so again control Z and what is happening over here, so because it is taking uh, according to that map, so if I just go for again this uh, new option and we have this scale is over like this, okay. So now if you just want to adjust fit to the data, so it will uh, fit the whole uh, thing to that and then you click on import, so now we see that. So depending on what maps you are adding for that and how you want this landscape to be uh, over here, uh, ag again another landscape you want to add, you can add it. So you want to sculpt something on the top of it. Now still you can sculpt it. So that sculpting tool option is still there. So if I just make it as uh, reduce the size of this and then you want to sculpt it over here. So you have this base thing which is there and I just want to sculpt it more at a different place So we have this uh, particular flatten uh, brush over here. So now we start adjusting this. You can just erosion and the strength of this is too much. So you want to reduce the amount of strength and then you start adding that only. So how you want this uh, places uh, to be over here. So you want to adjust that. So this is the map which is taking over here. So you want to smooth that out. You have this smooth tool uh, with the help of this smooth. You can also remove that. Okay. So this is what we have. So if you just want to uh, try fixing that over here. By playing this uh, thing, you can also check that uh, how this map uh, works over here. Alt P. Again, it is stuck. Okay, so that that's what the landscape will be more uh, system uh, consuming, RAM consuming over here. So you need to be careful. Now we have this character also. So the landscape is too small. So I need to increase the scale of that over here. So this particular character and okay so it is taking time to load that and i see that the character size is too big and this is too small uh, for the scene over here so uh, you need to increase the height of the mountains and uh, the scale of the mountain little bit of more to make it uh, work inside the scene 
Yeah, so here also we have different uh, modes over here, so which you can uh, use to paint uh, on the top of it. So if you have some kind of texture and you want to paint that texture also, so here we have different options. So that we will see how to create the material for that uh, particular landscape. So if I just go to this landscape over here and you want to apply some material, uh, we can also apply to that. So if I just go to this select option. So we have this uh, landscape tool, right? So uh, this is the landscape three. So that if you just want to see the details of that, we have all the details of this uh, inside this details uh, uh, tab over here. So I need to lift this up. Okay, so if I just double click on this, it will go to uh, inside the landscape mode. So any of this, if you just want to see that where it happened. So that we can just check it over here. So any of this you want to check. Right, so let's go for the details. And here we can just see the properties of that uh, particular landscape. So this is landscape one, landscape two. If you just come back to again this landscape mode, you can just check it over here. Okay. Uh, so click on that and here you can just see there is different uh, properties of the landscape. You can uh, have the material. Uh, whatever the material you want uh, to be applied on the top of that uh, particular uh, object or it. Okay, so before applying the material, we might need to create also uh, certain uh, blending materials inside this. So we'll see how we can just add a different blending materials also. So now uh, we are in so this. So uh, work on this uh, different tools. Uh, we have three different landscape uh, over here. So just work on this different types of tools. We have it over here. Uh, and then we'll see how uh, we can also add some kind of textures also on the top of this uh, mountain. So we might be adding different textures inside this. So this is the landscape which we have. So if you just want to drag and drop any of this texture uh, to that particular landscape one, which is over here. This is landscape three. This is the landscape one, uh, what we have it over here. So switch off this, uh, which is this. This is landscape two. This is the landscape three, what we have it. And if you just want to drag and drop any of this material, uh, we can just apply that material over here. So if I just go to the paint option, we have this uh, paint uh, on the top of it. Okay. So this is totally different procedure. We need to create a separate new material for the landscape uh, over here uh, like this. Separate material we'll be creating and we have to add uh, because uh, the land, whatever the mountains will have different layers inside it. So it will be land, it will be rock and there will be some kind of grass also. So we need to create uh, separate materials for this and I need to blend that material while uh, doing this paint. So that we'll see in the detail about this uh, texture paint, how we can just directly paint inside this. So now what you can do is you can just start uh, importing uh, different uh, landscapes over here. So uh, you can use multiple different uh, mountains. So to adjust the position of this, you can always uh, move it around using this tool. So any of this landscape you want to move it. Uh, so you have this different options for that. Select this landscape and you can just start uh, adding that over here. Okay, so try uh, this one. Uh, you want to add the splines also. Uh, control and click to add any of the point uh, inside this landscape. It is becoming too heavy for some reason. Now we can just see that. So I'm just adding some kind of uh, spline uh, also over here. So you need to delete some component. Uh, I can also delete it using this. Okay, so any of the component you want to delete it. Uh, so if I just select this one, this one I don't want. So this. So you feel that something you need to delete it because here uh, we are will not be able to delete any of this component over here uh, when you are inside this landscape mode. So you want to delete, you can delete it, or you want to add some of this uh, over here. Uh, you can also add it. So brush size. So if I increase this now. Two. 
so i am just adding that over here so you can just see that it has added extra thing so if i click it it is add adding extra uh, space for our landscape creation so this is what we have so if you just add this now control and just start clicking this over here so this is the splines which we are uh, adding to that uh, over here so once you come out of that click on this add okay so using this uh, editing tool also uh, we can also change that over here so if you want to add uh, something inside this like the mountain how it has to be edited uh, we can also go to this edit mode and uh, edit it suppose if i just go to the select particular thing and you want to edit it you will be able to edit okay so there are different tools uh, with the help of which you, you don't want extra space if it is too heavy and you want to delete any of this so there is nothing inside this landscape now so switch on this this is another landscape which is over here and so you can use any of this now so control click on this so by just holding the control and clicking it over here uh, we are adding this kind of uh, uh, line uh, to it so this also will be editable uh, thing which you will see so yeah so these are the different tools so uh, you try adding uh, some kind of different maps uh, you can take uh, multiple uh, landscape uh, maps from over here so you just go and search uh, different types of mountain maps uh, for us so if you want to create this uh, snowy mountain uh, so for that also you have different kind of uh, height map so you need to search for this kind of height maps uh, to create any of this uh, mountains uh, see that if I just go for this, you will get a different types of uh, map uh, mountain over there. Suppose if I go for this, uh, you have this hollow uh, region. So what is black? It is it is will go inside, and whatever this white uh, region is there, that will come or pop up. So depending on this maps, uh, you are going to get a different types of uh, mountains over here. So let's go for this, and it is I need to open it as a save image and it is in web uh, this format so let's go and just turn it into open with paint and let's make it as a png first yeah so go to file save as and if i just uh, save it as a png file let's save that and then you load it again uh, on this over here so this map let's load that so as soon as i load that uh, it is going to show so if it is a png file it will show that properly i think there is some error which is showing that uh, because it has not converted properly so if i just choose this itself and here we have this height so how much height you want for the uh, mountain you can just scale that so now i'm just increasing this over here and go to the fit data so uh, it has to fit to this whole uh, region now so once i click on this fit data it will fit and we have this import so if you are just saving it with a proper uh, png map if you get it uh, now we can just see that now this is very huge So this is different landscape which we have it over here so we don't want uh, you can also go to manage and start deleting this over here so, so this we require now we can just see that how it has created uh, since i adjusted the scale of that right so we can just see that how it has created this so it is a, which is this map which we have yeah so this is what we have this second mountain map So we have different mountains uh, over here and you can just see that. So depending on the map, you try adding that over here to the scene. Okay. Now if I just go to the add, click on this scene. 
so anything if you want to extend that you can click on this add if you want to delete you click on this delete okay so that's how it will work so yeah so start adding uh, some kind of mountains uh, uh, into your scene uh, using this uh, technique so for the landscape we'll be using that and uh, textures we'll see how we can just uh, use that texture also inside the scene and this is what we can just see that so once i click on this uh, it is going to show me this uh, attribute so now if you just want to change the location of that let's make it zero or you want to shift it at a different place so the same thing you want to duplicate it over here as well okay so if i just want it over here uh, at certain place uh, go to manage again just check that here uh, just try adjusting and moving it in this place again go to the manage go to the new option and again if you just click on the create it is going to create another landscape so if you want uh, the placement of it at a different uh, position let's make it over here go for new again manage go for the new 